smart chips are already inside the heads of 40,000 people in the United States. Neuroscience and business. He's got lots of matter all over his home and the not so distant future on his mind. Will they be humans? In as little as five years, super smart people could be walking down the street. Men and women who've paid to increase their intelligence. Neuroscientist Moron Surf makes that prediction because he's working on a smart chip for the brain. Make it so that uh, it uh, has an internet connection and goes to Wikipedia, and when I think this particular thought, it gives me the answer. The Northwestern University business professor is collaborating with Silicon Valley bigwigs he'd rather not name. So what if you could type directly from your brain? We know Facebook is chipping away at this. Tesla founder Elon Musk is too. Everyone is spending a lot of time right now on trying to find ways to get things into the brain without drilling a hole in your skull. Can you eat something that will actually get to your brain? Can you eat things in parts that will assemble inside your head? Mind-blowing, but relationships could be on the line. This is no longer a science problem, this is a social problem. Surf worries about creating intelligence gaps in our society. That's on top of gender, racial, and financial inequalities. They can make money by just thinking about the right investments, and we cannot. So, so they're going to get richer, they're going to get healthier, they're going to live longer. The IQ of an intelligent ape is about 70. The average human, 100. A genius, around 140. People with smart chips, 200. Will they even want to interact with us? But they're going to say, look at this cute human, Stephen Hawking. He can do differential equations in his mind just like a little baby uh, with, you know, 160 IQ point. It's amazing and so cute. Now let's put it back in a cage and give it bananas. Time will tell, or will our minds. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Smart chips are already inside the heads of 40,000 people in the United States.